folks, you know there's plenty of thrift stall going on in the fall. We're still making out. So we wanted to share and thought you might want to see what we got right here on my take on Home and Garden. Well, guys, it just keeps coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and believe me, we got some neat stuff. Especially if you think about this new my take on home and garden shopping bag. <laughs> it's a linen bag. It's kind of a medium size. It's pretty cool. Wanted to show it. Really good. You can pack this full of finds and goodies just to have a little paper in between. Well, pardon me a second. I got to get a sip of my coffee. Did I show you this one? It kind of matches the shirt. And before I forget, let me get this over here. Whoop. You see the back of this shirt? <laughs> In case you were wondering, it's a dandy. Okay, we'll be looking at what I promised you now. So at some of the thrift stores, I got a pretty good lineup. You know for like Easter and fall, any, any of the seasons, we, we want to do a lot of us, we do a coffee station and look at this cutie. Oh my goodness, it can stand up. Or I love the old fashioned candy store way on the 45. It has a seal and everything. It'll clean up better, but I didn't want to wash the sticker away on anything. So I could tell you. Okay, that's what I thought. Boy, it needs a wash, but $3.99, guys. Loving it for that and can you see some Christmas candy or cookies in there Angela said cookies so that must mean she's gonna bake cookies again I certainly hope so <laughs> I'll do my shortbreads and we're gonna do a couple baked apple goodies too by the way this fall then look at this in the blue and white kind of chinoiserie, a beautiful little votive, candle votive, and I think I even have an electric one that'll fit in here. How cute, guys. We don't have anything like it. $2.99. Now, you guys have seen some of the tables. I've just these swans come after me ever since I did the Neuschwanstein <laughs> castle table last Christmas. And I just keep running into them. Some are vintage, but some are a little newer. And it happened again, so I can't turn them down. This is a completely different color. The back is thicker than the other ones. $3.99. Look at that vintage blue, guys. Too cute. You know, can't leave it on the shelf. That's the problem. <laughs> How can you find two in the same store at the same time? I guess they just donated their whole collection of swans. I don't, I don't know, but lucked out and got two. Obviously, this is probably a soap dish. It's different than the others. It's smaller, but I, I'm nuts about it because it just goes with our swan collection. $2.99, guys. Just crazy about it. It's going to be so cute with the lemon yellow decor. And, you know, when we head back into spring, those two 
will work pretty nice. Now I got something really different here. Believe it or not, this hexagonal vase, it's made all out of wood. It's, it's really amazing. And with like a transfer print decoupage paper on it, I just thought it was exquisite. $2.99. It's so Victorian looking to me. Cute little arrangement for your end table or coffee table. Next, I've never had anything like this, but we did see it once and I think it was pretty expensive, so we didn't get it. And it's a vase. <laughs> we loved it. I couldn't get over it. It's gonna be awful cute on one of the Japanese or Oriental tables when I get to use it. $2.99, guys. Of course, where are you gonna go? Oh, let me get a quick Mm. Did I mention that we have hoodies? Now I gotta tell you a true story. One of our good friends rode in and said they got the hoodie jacket and they liked it so much they're getting a second one. No kidding. This one has the my take on home and garden. I just wanna include you. Nice density here. It is nice. So Angela wanted one. That's the castle. And then, oh, look at this. I'm going to steal this one. Here's the Christmas one in the blue. Real full and warm. Can you imagine when it starts getting cold? Look at how cute. Anyway, you remember the last buy, I think so, in Thrift Hall where I had the corbels, the pooties, and the karyatid. Pretty sure it was the last one. What do we talk about? When you put something out to the universe, it, <laughs> it just keeps coming. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm not even trying, I'm not calling it, but uh, I still really want some different ones, and boy, did I get it. You're not even going to believe this, okay? Now, I don't need more for shelves, okay? This can be hung on the wall for a shelf. Put a statue or a vase on it, you know. But guys, as an architectural piece, and it's hard to believe, if you go on architectural sites and try to find this, you'll, if you're like me at all, you'll be mad at what they want for everything. It's so expensive. Okay, here's two more. These were all shrink wrapped together. Okay, and they're substantial weight, they're not hollow little wimpy things there's not a nick and not one of them okay so four corbels they can go under your counter for us i think i'm going to use them in the archway like this up the top like it's architecturally holding up the arch ceiling part okay and these will get my bronzing technique so that they match the rest of that trim and appliques, okay? All four, guys, $10. Where are you gonna go? You cannot get one of these. I don't think you can buy one for $10. A 
Let me know if you can, if you find a place. <laughs> so just, you know, unbelievably good on those. Head to share. And I've got two more goodies and one, the last one, I'm saving for the last, the best for last, okay? You're not even gonna believe it at all. But here we go again. Another Baroque style shelf or Greek in the acanthus leaf. And this will get my bronzing technique also. So it matches, you know, where we have that in the living room, stairway, hallway, this is a dandy, let me tell you. There's the price. What is it? <laughs> it's it's a it's a good beefy weight to it. It'll hold up. Once you mount this with screws, it'll hold up anything that'll fit on that shelf. Four ninety-nine. <laughs> They're just coming at me. At this point, I don't know what to tell you. Love the acanthus leaf in that Greco Roman look. Alrighty, now I'm gonna move a camera and show you the biggest thing we got. This to me is a planter for outside. Okay, now keep in mind, this was not in this shape when I bought it at an estate sale. Shoved in the garage, everybody walked by it because most of the baskets were hanging off and they needed to be fixed, straightened out. The whole thing I had to straighten and fix and I had a heck of a time and I see, you see I still got one basket that wants to hang up but I think once I do what I want to do with this it'll be good all right the color is hideous to me <laughs> but this also is going to get my bronzing technique and are you ready <laughs> Christmas carousel horse you already saw and now we need a Christmas Ferris wheel for our vignette for Christmas. Off the chain guys it's gonna be incredible. Now I want to tell you what I paid for this. It's quite heavy it's for your patio or outdoors and you would put a little plant in each basket okay because of the shape it was in at the time <laughs> twenty dollars took it home twenty dollars took it home and the screw nuts and bolts i had at home stainless fixed all the baskets and I just bought the paint, and I'm going to show you that makeover along with the corbels and things in another video. And we're going to do some porcelain repair also. So folks, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your friends over. Check out the merch store. I don't want to drink alone. Salute, and we'll see you in the next Over the Top, of course, collector video. I don't know how, but it's better in this cup somehow. Somehow it's better in this cup. Mmm.